In this video, we're going to show you to install the door handle pull cable on your Ford Mustang located inside the door. Now, when you open up the driver's side door in the lower portion of the door panel, you're going to find a plastic push pin. We're going to use our trim tool. Go ahead and get in there. You want to pop that button out. Pull that out, set it aside. Now, if you have the mock speaker set up here, you want to go ahead and remove this grill first. We're going to use our trim tool and go between the cloth covered insert and the plastic base and the leading edge right on the front and gently pop this cover off. Once you get that off, inside this hole right here is a Phillips head screw. So we're gonna go ahead in there. On the bottom side, you're gonna find the connector. You can use our trim tool, release the little lock tab on there, and then pull that off of the back side of the speaker. You can use a small pocket screwdriver if you want as well. Sometimes your trim tool might work. This might be a little bit easier for you to get to, like so. Go ahead and set that speaker aside. For our power window controller panel right here, we're gonna use our trim tool right up in the top here. We're gonna gently put this in here and pry out, working our way around. And on the back side, there's gonna be a metal retaining clip. So we're gonna go in underneath and pop that up. On the back side, we have the power unit right here. Use your trim tool and remove this connector. As for the power window switch, there's gonna be a couple of Phillips head screws here. Loosen and remove these screws. Set that trim panel aside. Good, set that inside the door. Our next thing we wanna do, our next job or task you wanna do is we wanna remove our bucket here for the door handle release. Now we're gonna use our trim tool once again. You wanna go underneath if you can. And wanna pop this out. Now over here, there's normally a couple screws that go through the door panel into the metal shell, but our door does not have those. If yours does, go ahead and use the Phillips head screwdriver to go ahead and loosen and remove those. Now our door panel was gonna go straight up. You can use your leg underneath and just kind of lift up on your leg. Wiggle that door panel free and separate it from the door. Now in order to gain access to the inside of our door handle, we're gonna go ahead and raise up our window. So we have the key in the on position. We're gonna raise our window in the full upright position and then go ahead and shut the key off. Now if you're struggling with that door just kind of bouncing back and forth on you, we simply use a jack stand at the bottom here up against the rubber boot here. We're not scratching the paint at all, but it's on the rubber door seal just to kind of hold that door in check. Go ahead and grab your water shield. We want to go ahead and peel this off. We want to be careful separating it. Go ahead and work this up and over the door lock and peel this back.
At this point, we want to go ahead and separate our door handle pull from the shell itself. There is a rivet right here we have to drill out. You want to make sure that you have a replacement uh, rivet uh, or a uh, bolt that will work on this here. But if you are using a bolt, you need to pay attention to the clearance of the glass coming down as well as the operation of the window regulator. So a rivet is the best way to go when doing this project. Go ahead and drill out the middle of the rivet. Let's go ahead and separate our cable from our clips here. We're just going to twist these out of the little clip. And now we have the door handle out. Now on the back side here, we have the actuator cable. I'm going to use our pry tool here and slide this out. This is the locking mechanism. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna use a pair of pliers to go on the bottom side of our cable housing here and on the top side and just pop that up and out. And once you get that dislodged, we're gonna swing this around and there's a notch in the handle unit itself. You're gonna swing the cable over and slide out sideways and there's the barrel end right here. Our next step is to go ahead and disconnect the barrel end here or the cable end from the latch mechanism on the inside of the door latch. So we're gonna use our pliers to go ahead and pop this out. We're gonna remove the ball from the inside from the cable area and remove this completely from the inside of the latch mechanism inside. And right here is our cable end going into this unit. You can try and use a pair of pliers or whatever tool you have available to go ahead and pop that out. Might be able to use a combination of pliers and a screwdriver. Here we go. I'm gonna work our cable out. So we just pull the barrel end out. So when you install that, you want to feed that barrel or that ball end in. Take the ball end Feed that in and over the top of the latch mechanism. What you may have to do is use a pick to bring that back up and over. You can actually see this through a hole in the top of the door. Once you get that ball on the other side of the latch mechanism, we're going to slide our cable over. I'm going to line that up and we're going to snap that into place. The pliers will come in handy here. Pinch that into place. You're going to hear it snap in. Once you have that cable locked in there, we can go ahead and start to write that along the inside of the door shell. Install the barrel end into the back side of the handle. Pull that over and we're going to slide that into the notch here. Now you do want to make sure that that is fully seated in there.
I'm going to use a pair of pliers and gently squeeze that in. It'll just snap right into place. And once that's snapped in, we're going to go ahead and use our locking collar here. I'm going to line this up and push that down so that fits inside the groove and then comes out and snaps over the cable end. Make sure your foam gasket is seated. There's three tabs on the back side of the handle. This gets pressed on and then pulled back. There's three little tabs here that actually secure that. You'll feel that lock in a place. Install your rivet. Use your rivet tool to secure that. Before assembly of everything else, reach down inside and pull out any remnants of your rivet components, your little button, anything like that. Keep any rattling noises from happening inside the door panel. Go ahead and give that door handle a test. Make sure that cable has proper tension. Everything is working good. Line up your cable. Press this into your clips. Go ahead and take your water shield here. Press this into place. Get that up and over your door latch or your door lock rod. Now, if your water shield doesn't want to stick, you can simply grab some tape and put a few, few pieces on here just to secure this in place. With our water shield in place and our window all the way down, go ahead and shut off the ignition and remove that key. Now, installing your door panel, you have these tabs that are bent downward. They fit into holes in the door panels. So we're gonna feed our switch up through the door panel and bring our door panel up. Get your door lock button into the panel itself. And then go ahead and push that door panel down and into place. Run your finger around the perimeter of the door between the panel and the shell. Make sure there's no gap. Check across the top. We're just running our trim tool across the top because our door panel vinyl is just aged and was peeling up a little bit. Gives it a nice clean finish between the panel and the inner window sweep. Now on your vehicle here, you want to go ahead and install the two door panel screws right here and here. Ours are missing. We had some damage in the inside of our door, so we can't even replace them, but definitely install those. Once you have those screws installed, grab your switch panel, install your power window switch. Install the two Phillips head screws on the back side of the panel itself and we'll snug those down. Once that switch is bottomed out and that screw stops, stop. Do not over tighten it. You will crack the trim bezel. Grab your mirror switch here, line that up. Press that on. Now let's go ahead and install this. On the back side, you have your metal clip. This goes into the notch in the metal door shell, and then the upper panel will clip into the panel on the top here. Get that bottom lined up, give it a little tap, pop that in, push in the front, and then push in the top. Upper panel is done. For the bottom here, we have our door handle bucket. Line this up. Just work your way around the perimeter, pressing that in and snapping that into place. 
On the front side of that door panel, down just to the side of that speaker there, we have our plastic button right here. Just simply put that back in the hole and push it in by hand. Give it a couple taps and that is locked in. On our particular model, we have the speaker set up here we need to install. Install a connector. Good, tuck this up inside. Install your Phillips head screw. And go ahead and snug down that screw. And once that screw bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. You're just securing a plastic case with a speaker that does not require a lot of pressure. Take your speaker cover, line it up, and evenly apply forward pressure onto that, snapping that into place. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.